Hey guys, Jamil Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in, um, I'm feeling better. Thank you very, very much for all the prayers and the well wishes. Uh, it really makes me feel good. Okay, uh, I've spent the better part of the last couple of years uh, getting some components here and there for my solar system, and now we're ready to do uh, uh, an upgrade on it, uh, another upgrade to my solar system. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking my system uh, from a 12 volt to a 24 volt system. Uh, now, before we go any further, please keep in mind I am not an expert. I'm not an off gridiologist or anything like that. I'm just a dude who's got a little solar system and a wind turbine, and my stuff. My system is small, and uh, for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty inexpensive components that I've been able to get here over the last couple of years. Like I said, so uh, I'm not recommending. Uh, that anybody changes from a 12 volt to a 24 volt. I'm not recommending that you do anything um, I'm simply going to show you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it um, and what my feelings are behind it So the reason that I want to go to a 24 volt system is because of a efficiency the the size of cable that I'm uh, you know, Keep in mind when you're when you're designing your system and you start putting your system together some of the mistakes that I made was, uh, one, I never took into consideration how expensive cables and wires are. They're really, really expensive. That's a big part of the expense of your system is with cables and wires. Um, and two, the equipment that I bought, such as the, uh, the, uh, the charge controller and my inverter, my inverter that I bought, I went with high, the highest amount of wattage that I could get uh, for the cheapest amount of money which is what uh, a lot of people do because that's the way we figure it's going to work out best. But the problem with that is, is you don't get very good quality gear. And so you lose a lot uh, due to inefficiency. It simply is just inefficiency. You lose a lot of your power through heat. Uh, the inverter that I have, what I'll show you here in a little bit when we start switching out inverters, uh, the inverter that I have, it's got a fan that runs on it all the time. Uh, it gets hot um, and it just doesn't work very efficiently. So we lose a lot of power. Uh, we also lose a lot of power from my panels down to the charge controller because uh, if you remember whenever we did the first upgrade to the system, I used a 10 gauge wire. I used two of them for each lead, so I've got a total of four wires coming down. But that still isn't large enough cable to run the amount of DC current that's going through that, that cable. So 20 bumping up the voltage, uh, the higher the voltage, the smaller the cable. So this is how it makes sense to me, and this is how I'm going to tell you how it makes sense to me. If you have, right now I've got six solar panels up there, so I've got six lead wires coming off of those six solar panels all into one smaller wire that runs from the panels to the charge controller. So the way I look at it is if I have a two inch pipe and then I have six half inch leads and I try to cram all those leads into that little pipe, I'm going to lose it. It all can't fit. It can't all fit in there. But if I take my six 12 volt panels and I wire them in series and I have instead of six 12 volt panels, I now have three 24 volt panels. Then instead of having three or instead of having six of the feeds going into the, the, the cable, I only have three which will fit and it'll run a lot smoother and I'll be losing a lot less uh, due to heat and, and stuff like that because DC, if you, if you don't, you know, you run the DC in the stranded wire and it will get hot and anytime you have heat generating in your system you're losing you're losing power because heat is energy now that may be wrong and i'm quite sure there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments section tell me that i'm wrong but that's how i explain it to myself to where it makes sense so another reason that i want to switch it to a 24 volt is because the wires that i have the cables that i have running will be more efficient and i'll be able to get more power from the panels to the charge controller and then from the charge controller into the batteries and then from the batteries to my inverter, and now that I have a different 24 volt inverter, um, which is an Ames inverter that I got from uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, and I'll show you whenever we get to that part, uh, it should be a lot more efficient. The way I look at it now is I'm losing between 30 and 35% of the, of the power that I'm able to generate, we're losing through either through the cables and the wires or the inverter. Uh, and I wanna kinda make it a little more efficient because I wanna be able to run more on the house. Um, I have the battery desulfator now for a little over a month on my battery bank and uh, I can already tell a difference in the longevity of the charge, uh, meaning that if the batteries are fully charged, instead of getting a day and a half of use out of them, I may get two days or two and a quarter days of use out of the batteries before they, before they deplete and before they need to be charged again. So uh, the desulfator on the battery bank has definitely worked. 
Uh, so big, huge props and kudos to Justin Case. Uh, he was the one who told me about that. I'm going to be mentioning several channels uh, that that I that I talk with about my off-grid system uh, throughout these next couple of videos because this probably won't be all in one video. It'll probably be two or three videos. Uh, and the, my main people that I talk to about my solar system or my wind turbine or something like that is uh, there's four different channels. Uh, first is Bill and Rosa, our off-grid solar cabin. Um, they are completely off the grid, and uh, he knows a lot about wiring and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, they're here this weekend for a visit, and uh, he's going to help me do some rewiring and stuff. We're going to be getting to that here in a little bit. Uh, secondly, like I just mentioned, is Justin Case. He has uh, got an awesome, huge off-grid system that uh, is just its very impressive. Uh, so you can check him out. He's full of information on LED lights and, and charge controllers and inverters and, man, you name it. He's, he's, got, a, he's got it. He's testing it. Uh, and naturally, uh, Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, which is where I get my, uh, I got my inverter from them. Uh, I got my wind turbine from them. Um, we're going to be replacing the wind turbine at some point as well uh, to a 24 volter. You know, awesome, awesome channel. He, Jeff is an awesome dude. Uh, he's full of information, and he will gladly share it with you. And uh, and of course, Norman McGregor. Norm, he is in the business as well. He's in the, he's an off grid. He loves the solar panel. He loves the wind turbine. Norm is an awesome dude, super nice guy, and he will also share information with you. Uh, if you have questions, he will take the time to answer them, just like anybody else that I've mentioned will. So I will link those channels in the bottom of these videos that I'm making. That way, if you have a question about something I mentioned that someone someone told me, you can go and check it out on their channel and, uh, and subscribe to their channel because they're always putting out uh, good, good information. So, all right, let's get into it. First thing that we are going to do... <coughs> Uh, on this video is we are going to wire my batteries uh, my battery bank if anybody who's been watching my channel for a while knows that my batteries I have four uh, these are six volt uh, deep cycle golf cart batteries that I just got from Sam's you know it is what it is uh, this is what we have so right now I have them wired in series parallel which means they're wired 12 volts, so instead of this battery being a 6 volt and this battery being a 6 volt, both of those batteries are one 12 volt battery. So right now what I have is two 12 volt batteries. Um, and they are 100 amp hours each. Just because you wire them together and change the voltage, you don't change the amperage. So there's still, no matter how you wire it, there's going to be 100 amp hours per battery in that battery. So what we're going to do now is we're going to disassemble everything. We're going to disconnect everything and we're going to start completely from scratch. We're going to start by wiring the batteries and we're going to wire all four of those batteries together in series to make them one 24 volt battery versus uh, four six volts or two 12 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from this battery here, we're going to go negative to positive, negative to positive, and then that will leave us the terminal on and then negative to positive. And then that'll leave us an empty terminal on this, on this side and an empty terminal on this side, one negative, one positive. That will be the entire bank right there so that will make that a 24 volt system that way the 24 volt charge controller and the 24 volt inverter will work so this is the first thing we're going to do and uh, we're going to get after it there's the uh, desulfator that thing is working really really good the batteries are definitely uh, rejuvenated so all righty guys we're going to get after it and we will show you uh, what it looks like when we get done okay guys as you can see we got our batteries re rewired uh, we got them wired from uh positive to negative, positive to negative, and then positive to negative. That makes it a 24 volt battery bank. You can see the number right there. It says it's 25.6, which means they're all fully charged. And that makes this one 24 volt battery bank. And we've got a empty uh, negative terminal here. And then on this far end of the battery, we got an empty positive terminal right here. That's how you get your 24 volts all the way across. Now, I can still wire 12 volt stuff to this battery bank. If I just use like two of these batteries, that'll still be 12 volts. If I put one thing on this positive and one thing on this negative, that'll be a 12 volt battery system for running uh, like the little Harbor Freight LED lights and such like that. I'll wire them straight to that. But as, as the main thing, we got 24 volt battery bank now. So now the next step is we're going to start, we're going to clean out that where I got that stuff running into the house. We're going to clean it out so we can stretch those wires out and we're going to mount the charge controller and the inverter uh, inside on the wall uh, inside the house. And uh, we'll get back with you whenever we get that uh, done. Okay guys, we got my uh, 
my Morningstar TriStar charge controller. Uh, it's a 60 amp. We got it mounted. And we got my Ames um, DC to AC power inverter uh, mounted. This is a 2500 watt Ames modified sine wave uh, uh, power inverter. Um, it is what it is. This is what I have. It's not the best equipment in the world. But, uh, you know, it just, it just is what it is. I'm happy to have what I have. Uh, this is always going to be 24 volts. Uh, mounted them up on the wall. I used to have my charge controller mounted down in the battery box, but I will tell you it is a royal pain in the butt uh, when it is down low to try to get to to work on or ch you know check on your wiring or to do anything at all, even to see what the LED lights are saying how uh, you know how charged your batteries are. It's really hard to do when it's down below in the box. So I decided to move everything inside, mounted it on the wall, uh, a little over five foot or so off the ground, and. Uh, now we've got everything mounted, we're going to wire this up to the battery bank. Um, that'll be the first thing that we do is wire it all to the batteries and uh, we'll be running it through the hole in the floor here and uh, we'll put that PVC pipe back in and run our wires through down there and uh, get it all hooked up. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we got the uh, charge controller hooked up to the battery bank and we've got the inverter hooked up to the battery bank. Now the next step will be to run the wiring uh, from the solar panels. We need to run the solar panels in series parallel so that they are running at 24 volts and then hook them up to the charge controller. Uh, we've got our little series of dip switches here. Right there, those things are called dip switches and I've got those switches set for this is now a 24 volt uh, charge controller. Uh, this is not an MPPT so uh, you got to set those little switches. Um, so anyway, the next video will be wiring the solar panels together and uh, and wiring them to the charge controller. I think this one's run long enough, so that'll be the next video. Uh, so thanks for watching this one. Y'all have a great day. Uh, God bless. And the end. Buzz, buzz. The end.